What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Cancies, what's up Cancer? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. Um, I do want to thank you guys for your patience. I have been feeling under the weather. Um, so yeah, today I feel a little bit better. So um, that's why I'm, I'm on here today. But again, you know, thank you so much for your patience. I just haven't been feeling well. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull from my deck that I created and from the Oracle and then we're going to clarify. Okay. I'll be on the phone. Oh, night long. Oh. You be on the phone with somebody all night long, or somebody wants you to be on the phone with them all night long. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck is love is here. Okay. So I feel like what you don't see coming is love coming in. Let loose and who cares? Okay. So I do feel like, and then you have to stay open in reverse. So I do feel like you might be closed off to this because there's people around you who are not going to like it or are not going to want to see you with this person. There's something about it that people are not going to like. I feel like the universe is saying, like, let loose. I feel like there is true unconditional love here with whatever this is. Um, and maybe, you know, you're a little uptight about it or maybe you're not opening yourself up 100% because of what others have to say um, or what they will say. And I feel like the universe is like, you, you know, you feel it you know love is here i created this card when if anybody's in doubt that there's true authentic love with whatever with someone um and this is true okay it is and i feel like you feel it so don't let others it could be that like maybe it's not perfect and it could be that you could be allowing the naysayers kind of get to you because again it's not perfect so it's really easy for you to be like yeah you know what actually yeah like you know what actually yeah you know but don't don't um don't go off by that go off by how you feel in your heart okay because i feel like you know that this is something um true okay okay first card you have is the universe is on it get ready okay so i feel like you're asking the universe for something and um now this card is telling you you're going to get what you want but you're going to have to make some type of sacrifice or compromise in order to obtain it okay the universe always gives us what we want but um we you know you got to make sure that you're willing to pay the price as we say you know and the price is is a lesson right whatever they're asking you to compromise or um somebody might be confessing to you that they like you through text message or i be on the phone somebody call you somebody might call you and be like yo i really like you're my crush like i really like you that was a side message okay because i just saw something <laughs> okay anyway um yeah so i feel like whatever the universe is asking you to compromise or to sacrifice is the ticket for you to get this okay you have regret. I know that I cannot change the past, okay? Hmm. So this already happened? You don't, don't ever be regretful, okay? Everything happens for a reason, all right? This is kind of given this already happened. And something happened here. Okay, let's see. What is regret and the universe is on and get ready? You have the five of cups, the five of coins in reverse, the hierophant in reverse, and the seven of cups with the four of cups in reverse. Okay, I'm about to get, I'm about to get at you, Cancies. Okay, I love you, but if I wasn't myself, what? If I wasn't honest, I wouldn't be being myself. Okay. 
Okay, so you definitely experienced some type of loss. I feel like the universe brought you what you asked for and you experienced some type of loss or disappointment because you were kind of, the Seven of Cups is here. I feel like you were trying to, you were trying to, how can I say this? It's like, then you have the Hierophant in reverse. So it's like you were trying to kind of, how can I say this? It's like you were trying to make a situation or make this, like, how can I say it? You were trying to, I know, you were trying to make this kind of look a certain way. You were, you were wanting this to be portrayed or to be a certain way. And I feel like it wasn't. And I feel like you were only trying to make it look a certain way because you knew that you would have to learn some type of lesson here if you actually looked at it for what it was. I hope that makes sense because the Hierophant is in reverse. So I feel like you didn't learn a lesson and that's why the universe had to take this away from you or cause some type of disappointment because it's like you were trying to do this your way, you know, that's not the way you can't see. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Okay, I know that's not the way and it it seems like the most safest way for you. It seems like the most easiest way. And again, it's just the safest route. Um, so I don't blame you. But I had to learn Cancy's that everything in this life is a lesson everything. This is basically like school, right? So you in every period you have a you know, unless you have study hall, you know, you, you do have a free period, you know what I'm saying? But it's like you were trying to like skip class and, and only go to certain classes, you know, and then thinking that you were going to graduate. No, you know, you have to go to every class, you have to show up. That's part of the universe giving us what we want. And I also learned that in order for us to obtain what we truly want, like I said in the beginning, we're going to have to make some type of sacrifice and compromise. And that's whatever that is for you is a hierophant in reverse. I feel like you feel like you're not ready to learn this lesson or to do what the universe is asking you to do. But Cancys, I've been telling you this for a very long time now. Rip off the band-aid. Just rip it off. There's no way that this, whatever this hierophant is in reverse for you, there's no way that you can lessen the blow. I've tried. I've tried. Um, and when I've tried to lessen the blow, the blow just comes back harder. <laughs> and that's what happened with you, right? I'm assuming, right? So now you know that you can't try to, you know what I'm saying? You got to go straight forward. The three of coins in reverse, the king of swords, and the four of cups in reverse. And now you're realizing this. You're being honest with yourself and you're realizing why something wasn't working because you were trying to skip class, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you gotta follow rule, you gotta, and, and and life honestly gets easier if you look at it, like you just, anything that you, that anything that you want or that the universe brings to you or that you're entering, it's going to require something. You can't show up to the club without a fee or without a dress code or, you know, like you have to, <laughs> this could be with the Pisces. Yeah, I feel like you were, you were really in your head about this because I feel like, I feel like you, again, with the Seven of Cups, you were trying to make it seem like what the universe brought to you was playing games with you. You were trying to seem like what the universe brought to you wasn't what you truly wanted because it required you to learn some type of lesson that maybe you felt like you weren't ready for, but you are. You are. With the Five of Coins in reverse, I feel like you're going to... Um, it's like you're going to get another chance or something like that. Like I feel like you're going to come out of the cold with this like you're going to be able to dust yourself off and try again na, 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 and try again try again yeah now i feel like again cancies if you're gonna try this again please make sure that you're learning the lesson i feel like you are with the king of swords i feel like you you're being honest with yourself and you're just like okay if i want if i want this i'm gonna have to do this and this and this and this right and just know that if you don't follow suit the blow is going to be harder every single time aren't you tired of getting slapped by the universe because i was i was tired i was tired i was over i was like you know what i'd rather just go through the situation now <laughs> and it's always quick it's oh and it's like the thing is that we always feel like it's 
it's going to be a lot scarier, whatever this lesson is for you. We always feel like it's going to be a lot scarier than what it actually is. I mean, your heart is going to be pumping the whole way through, but you're going to, it's going to, you're going to finish a lot quicker and a lot less with scratches on yourself than you expected. Because that's always what it is. Never as bad as we expect it to be once we actually rip off the band-aid, okay? The next card is work hard, okay? So I feel like the universe wants you to work on something. You have health. I will honor the physical vessel that nourishes my soul. You too? <laughs> All right. Anyway, so I feel like the universe wants you to work on your health at this time. All right. Um, and the universe is like saying, we're, the universe is like, we don't want you to be half ass and nothing. If you say that you're going to go to the gym three times a week, go to the gym three times a week. The work hard, the work hard card is really put in the work. Stop playing around. Don't be lazy type of thing. Okay. If you have to put a reminder on your phone, do it. This could be the universe is trying to um, get you to um, change a certain habit or something that you're doing same thing don't give up on yourself I did a collective reading I don't remember which one it was but it was about um you should watch I can't remember which one it was whatever but it was about um you know having like um like if you have to like give up something or um change something that you're doing that is being unhealthy to your body like start slow start small okay like don't just go on it and then think that you're gonna it's gonna stick we have to kind of be realistic with ourselves especially if it's just something that you have been doing for a while like you know some people it is some people can go can go cold turkey on things but not everybody you know so it's like ease your way into it right like easiest thing that i could do is like if you want to start eating healthy and like removing you know if you want to start eating healthier, like maybe just, you know, don't completely cut out red meat, especially if it's your favorite, maybe eat meat like one red meat like once a week, you know, or, you know, maybe start slow and start going to the gym two days a week or one day a week, you know, but it's like, don't give yourself unrealistic expectations, okay, because it's just going to be harder for you to stick to it, okay. Any little bit that you do matters, all right? Bottom of the deck is the devil in reverse, okay? I love this. That's good. You have the queen of wands in reverse, the four of wands, the emperor, and the hermit. Wow. You have two major arcanas, okay? The universe is probably kind of pushing you to do this. Um, so I feel like the universe is like, we don't care if you're mad. I love you, okay? I feel like they're like, we don't care if you're mad. You don't care, we don't care this is what you have to do if you want if you want to be healthy if you want a solid um stable foundation re relationship marriage home whatever this is what's required you to do you have the hermit and the emperor the universe is like you know all the answers you have all the answers you know which way we're guiding you take control of your life and do it just go for it you're the devil in reverse the queen of cups in reverse and the hangman in reverse i feel like the universe is um telling you that the more you stall, the more emotionally closed off you become, whether you notice that or not. Others will notice it, absolutely, because you are a Cancer. You're, you're, you being emotionally closed off is not something that um, is normal. So those that really those that really know you, you know what I'm saying? Because some of you guys will be like, oh, um, I really, got, nobody could tell, <laughs> nobody could tell. Those that know you could tell, just saying. Okay, um, so, and I, I and, and I feel like, you know, it's not, and if you are emotionally closed off, Cancers, you're not being 100% yourself and you're not going to feel 100% yourself. So I feel like the universe wants you to remove this negative thing that you keep doing, that you're not doing, that you should be doing. Or not, no, not that you should be doing. No, but the devil's in reverse is giving me, this is something that the universe wants you to work on. There's There's some type of, negative thing that is affecting your health that the universe wants you to remove and they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it this queen of wands is in reverse i know you mad i know they could be really pushing you to do this or they could be giving you no other reason but to do this but it's like cancers do it it's affecting your health negatively or it might be that you're mad because you're just like why do i have to do this right now everything is fine right now everything is fine right now you don't know what's going to happen in three months from now, in four months from now, in a year. 
You know what I'm saying? So the universe is asking you to work on this now for a reason. Okay, so please listen. We don't always know all the answers and you have to be honest with yourself sometimes. Just because things are good right now does not mean that down the line they won't it won't get it won't go zero to a hundred. I mean, you already kind of experienced that over here, right? Like you already know that not everything is always what it seems, right? There's always there's always a bigger picture to everything. I also learned that too, and that was something that really helped me. Um kind of just like trust myself a lot more because when I would feel to do things and like my physical environment wouldn't like show me the like that I would need to do it. But once I learned that everything, there's a bigger reason behind everything, then I started to just doing it. And then I realized, oh, okay, this is why I have to do this. Oh, okay, this is why I have to do that. So it could be the same thing with you. You know, that it's like deep down, you know, you have to do this, but you're trying to, you know, not. You have the sun here. It's going to be a lot better than what you think. Because I feel like whatever it is that the universe is asking you to work to stop doing with this devil in reverse is something that you is not I don't want to say it's not you but it's something that you grabbed like you know on the journey it's not something that's supposed to stay with you I feel like you grabbed this on the journey as comfort and it just and and I feel like it was also want you to go back to when you started when you started doing this whatever this devil this could be a, a negative mindset doesn't have to be something that you're doing but it could be a negative mindset as well but go back to when this started happening and you're, you're gonna see that it wasn't you that just you know it was like the situation that caused you to start doing that I don't know maybe you found comfort with some with this to help you get through a certain a certain part of your life that maybe you were trying to avoid at one point and you know you kind of just kept it you know, and now the universe is like, you don't need this anymore. And now it's affecting your health. So please stop. Okay, you have the sun card here. It's going to make you really happy. Okay. All right, the last card you have is, it won't be that bad. It won't be that bad, Cancies. Saying, you have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So you're being guided to do something. And you don't want to, but I feel the universe is saying this is not, you You have to, like, this is, I feel like you don't want to because you don't feel confident enough to do it. But I feel the universe is saying, like, we're, we're giving you this knowledge or this wisdom or whatever this is so you can, so you can, um, because we're giving this to you because you're the one that can do it. You're the only one that can do it. What is this? Okay, this is about love. Ace of Cups, the Ten of Coins in reverse, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Cups here. This could be about a um, Pisces or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like the universe wants you to accept new love or to offer love to something or someone, okay? Now, I feel like your intuition is telling you that there's people in your family or your work that are not going to be happy about this. this. We were just talking about that. And that's keeping you stuck in your head. I feel the universe is telling you to listen to your heart with the queen of cups you know the way like you this is the this is your spirit guys telling you can't ease, do this take this love this person blah, 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 blah. you know whatever look at this the ace of coins this is something very this is something very solid very stable okay i feel like you can trust this you have the full yeah there's a new beginning this could be with an aries doesn't have to be though but there is definitely a new beginning here and i feel like the universe wants you to um who cares who cares what people think, okay? Whoever these family or this people at your job, whatever this is for you, I feel like um, it's unstable anyway. So the universe is like, you're allowing, you're allowing a, a situation that's unstable to keep you stuck. You know, um, who cares? I also feel like can sees when these family is gone, when the, this job, because nothing is forever, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that the choices that you've made in your life are the ones that you wanted to make. Because, you know, I don't want you to be in it, making choices based off of what everybody else, trying to make everybody else comfortable. You were not brought to this world to make anybody else comfortable except you family friends all that is extra but but the thing is that we forget that we are the main reason why we came down here 
we are the main reason. We tend to forget that because, you know, we have family and children and whatever. But um, you have to remember that you are your first priority. And if you aren't happy, ain't nothing around you going to be happy. And those that aren't happy for you being happy are just not meant to be in your space at that time. Or they just don't get it. And they're not... And maybe they're not supposed to see it at this time, but they will eventually, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you were just saying it won't be that bad. Maybe you're just like, yeah, but my family's not going to like it, like da-da-da-da, or my job is not really going to like that I'm, you know, taking this offer, right? You could be, you could be taking, this doesn't have to be about love, but the Ace of Cups is here, so it probably is for a lot of you. But for most of you, um, for some of you, it could be about <clears throat> a new work opportunity that really, emotionally satisfies you you know that really emotionally you feel emotional emotionally connected to this job or this person um and i feel like with it it won't be that bad i feel like these job this job or these families are gonna you know how can i say they're gonna get over it but it's not gonna be on your time you know they might get over it in a year, in two years, in five years, but eventually they'll get over it. But you can't allow that to stop you. And I also feel like by you making this move, you're also showing your family and your friends to follow your heart. Because whatever this is, I feel like it's good. And I feel like it's going to turn out a lot better even than you expected. And, um, you know, I feel like the people around you are also going to be surprised at how good something turns out. Um, or how good something works. Because whenever we follow our heart can the universe is always right behind us. Always. So I feel like you have the universe support on this, okay? All right, let's get you some advice. What is the universe's on it and regret? You have stillness. Yeah, I feel the universe is saying, like, if you're in the middle of this, the universe is asking you to be still. It could be that they, like, paused this situation for a second because they wanted you to realize how you were moving and how you, in the way you were going about it. You have security. Yeah, this is safe. I feel like maybe some of you guys feel like somebody's gonna come and take this from you or something like that. It's not. What's yours is always gonna, is meant to be yours. The universe is protecting it, like, ain't nothing getting close to it, okay? What is work hard and health here? You have love. I feel like the more you work on yourself, the more you attract love, the more the love, the people in your life, this connection could be with this four of wands or this marriage, this commitment, the more you, um, the more that connection grows and becomes more solid and more strong it's like the more this is this is giving me more self-love the more you love on yourself by taking care of your health and doing what you got to do the closer you get to love as well you have solitude yeah it could be also the universe is asking whatever they're asking you to do it might require you to be alone um but you should do that can see security yeah you ain't gonna miss out on nothing trust trust okay what is, it won't be that bad, and self-esteem. You have wonders, okay? So I feel like the universe is saying, like, there's so many different, like, don't be stuck on a certain way. Oh, this is, if this is, it's kind of like you're stuck on a certain way, like, okay, if I do this, and they're gonna, this is not going to work. And then it's like, you're only thinking about one route. This wonders is kind of giving me, like, the wonders of the universe, you know, like there's many different routes and you don't know the path that could open up when you're in the path. It's like you won't know the different avenues until you're in the situation. The universe won't show you other doors until you're actually through the first one. It's like you're not even you're not even accepting the offer or giving it yet. You're at the door like, dang, you know, I know that if I open this door and I go through this door, this and this and this is going to happen. How do you know that? Oh, because da, 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 da. OK, but. Once you open the door and you go in it, there's, there's more doors. So it's like, it's, it's a never ending door. So yeah, what, you, what you're saying might happen, but then there's another door. Something will change. Something will shift because change is the only constant, just like us breathing. So this situation, I feel like it's not going to stay like that. Like I said, and you have standstill. Yeah, I feel like the universe, keep, it's like they're, they're like, they could be putting a lot of things on pause for you or on hold because they really want you to think about what you're doing. <clears throat> And second, who you're doing it for. Are you doing it for you or are you doing it to please others around you? Okay, because I feel like your 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 life is trying to 
it's like trying to shift you but you're just like no you know i don't know but don't resist and really think about the choices that you're making and who you're making them for okay all right cancies all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive